डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर नाइन ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग देयर आर टू पार्ट्स इन लेक्चर नंबर नाइन नाइन ए एंड नाइन बी इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिजिटल हाफ टोन प्रोसेस वाइल इन द सेकेंड पार्ट यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम न्यूमारिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन द डाइथरिंग टेक्निक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी रिमाइंड यू दैट इन प्रीवियस एट लेक्चर्स वॉट यू हैव स्टडीड यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इमेज प्रोसेसिंग नेचर ऑफ इमेज प्रोसेसिंग डिजिटल इमेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ इमेजेस आर पॉसिबल वॉट आर द डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग ऑपरेशंस यू हैव ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट द डिजिटल इमेजिंग सिस्टम्स physical and biological aspects of image acquisition and sampling and quantization for the digital images so let us start today's lecture about digital half tone processing let us understand what is half tone image you have studied about the digital imaging systems and you know that these systems use laser printers or plotters so that mass copies of images can be produced in the photographs itself you can see that it is composed of large number of varying tones or shades like in the case of the black and white images you can see that a number of gray shades are available over there while in the case of the color images various colors are available which may be of primary and secondary colors so you can also visualize that printer cannot reproduce all the colors in the photographs display system cannot produce all the colors therefore we can say that the images which are displayed only with a subset of available colors which is known as a partial tone or half tone images so this is actually the half meaning of half tone if the images uses only two colors black and white then the type of image is known as a bitonal image laser printer is a bitonal device so half toning is a technique which is used to create an illusion of continuous shades in image by taking the advantage of human visual system in this diagram you can observe that three images have been shown first is the original image second is the threshold image in the case of the threshold image this particular process removes all the details of the image while in the third case it shows the half tone image where more number of shades have been displayed so it takes the advantage of the various shades which have been included over here so that there is a continuity in the image see a process have been shown for the half tone image generation in this process you can see that there is a input image and there is a pseudo random matrix a random number is being generated from the pseudo number matrix so these are the two inputs via which this particular image is being created and then on this image a thresholding function is being applied thresholding may be a single thresholding or thresholding matrix so as we have seen in the previous case there were three images input image threshold image so via this thresholding process the second one image thresholding image is being created and when the pixel to pixel value of the image and thresholding uh, like value is being compared then at the output will be getting the half tone image which is being available for the display here you can see that there are two matrix h1 and h2 
h1 is the input matrix is being given while from this one this is the enlarged matrix being created the enlargement of the matrix can be done by the two ways or either by the use of the replication or interpolation so in coming lectures also you are going to study about the replication mm -hmm. interpolation even in the next lecture um, we will be uh, like doing some numerical examples based on the replication and numer uh, interpolation as well there is a term die three this is a very important term die three algorithms are a very important category of half toning algorithms die three is a quantization method in which noise is added to the input before the signal is subjected to the quantization process here the process of adding noise to the signal and using the fixed threshold is equivalent to the addition of noise to the threshold and based on the nature of noise three types of dithering algorithms are possible random dithering ordered dithering and non periodic dithering let us understand one by one first is random dithering random dithering is a simple way of creating an illusion of continuous gray levels the method generates a random number in the range 1 to 256 for a pixel if we say that there are 8 bits in gray level so if n is equal to 8 then how many gray shades are possible which is 2 raised to the power n means 2 raised to the power 8 it is of 256 means there are total 256 gray shades or in and you can see that out of these 256 level one level is black and the one is white so remaining 254 levels have been represented by the gray levels and here the pixel value is compared with the random number which is being generated if the pixel value is greater than random number generated then the output is being represented as white means with one else zero zero corresponds to black if the pixel value intensity of that pixel value is 10 and the random number being generated is 2 so here this pixel value is greater than the random number being generated so the output is being written as 1 but if the pixel value is less than the random number being generated like in this case the value of pixel intensity level is 6 while the random number which is being generated is 8 so in this case the output is being represented by 0 this is the simplest dithering technique other type of dithering technique is ordered dithering order dithering is very popular and this is widely used in newspaper there are certain patterns which are used in order dithering some of the standard patterns uh, have been shown over here 2 cross 2 3 cross 3 and 4 cross 4 patterns so here the 
these particular patterns used to be compared with the image values and accordingly the output is being written. If the values of the pixel are less than the threshold value, it is plotted as white, otherwise as dark. White means with 1 and dark means with 0. Any higher order pattern can also be generated and the generation of that pattern is based on the use of the following generation mask. MN is the matrix being generated. So the type of matrix which will be we will be getting at the output is being represented into this form where u is the square matrix if we are writing u n and n is equal to 2 then square matrix will be of the order of 2 cross 2 and this matrix can be represented as 1 1 1 1 all the elements are 1 1 so this is of the order of the 2 cross 2 matrix there is a certain algorithm for the ordered die thing as well these are the four steps load the input image create a pattern of size n cross n then apply interpolation or replication technique to enlarge the image. If the enlarged image is greater than threshold array, produce a dot at x, y, otherwise insert a 0. Here there are two terms, one is replication another is interpolation. So let us understand how this replication process takes place. If we say that the input image is let's say 0, 2, 3, 1 images of 2 cross 2. Let us say this is F. If you have to apply replication method, replication means each and every pixel value is being replicated. So, the resultant image you can write it as 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, means each and every pixel value will be replicated and we will be getting the enlarged image after this process. So you can see that the input image size was 2 cross 2 while at the output after applying replication function the image size is of 4 cross 4. There is one more term interpolation how this interpolation takes place in the case of the image. This interpolation process is also known as zero order hold process. Again let us take an example. It will be better to understand with the help of example. If the input image is 1 again of size 2 cross 2 where the intensity of pixels have been written over here 1 2 and 3 4 so in the interpolation process because it is also known as a zero order hold process so zero is being inserted over there means the enlarged image will be 1 then again zero is inserted then next pixel element is 2 0 is inserted. In the next row, all zeros being inserted. Then in third row, first element is 0, sorry 3, 
zero, four, zero, and in the fourth row again all zeros being inserted. So you can see that after interpolation also you are getting means the image of the size of four cross four. with the zero order hold process so this is the replication this is interpolation we'll do some numericals as well so that will gives you a clear overview how to uh, write down the output image or the enhanced image by comparing the pixel values along with the mask third type of dithering is non periodic dithering the idea behind this type of algorithm is error dispersion for each point the closest color is obtained in case of grayscale images there is a simple thresholding operation so what happens in this particular type of uh, algorithm the difference between image value and the closest color is computed and the error value are distributed over the neighbors so the distribution of error value is being done in various ways the most popular algorithm is known as floyd steinberg algorithm and the processes you can understand again there are four steps loading the input image performing quantization process then calculating quantization error how to calculate the quantization error it is being calculated by taking the difference between the image value to the closest color then in fourth step spread the error over the neighbors to the right and below how to spread the error the right pixel gets 7 by 16th of the error value then bottom pixel gets 5 by 16th of the error value southwest gets 3 by 16th of this and the south east neighbor gets 1 by 16th of the error this can be represented into this form like x is the quantization error next is being shifted by 7 by 16 then 3 by 16 5 by 16 and 1 by 16 so this is the way via which error dispersion chart can be created for floyd steinberg algorithm another algorithm is jarvis judis ninki algorithm in this process also spreading the error is being done over the neighbors to the right and below but the pattern is change again x is the quantization error it is being shifted to 7 by 48 then 5 by 48 and to the below 3 by 48 5 by 48 so this is the way via which error dispersion chart is being created in this algorithm there is one or we which is known as a stucky algorithm again x is a quantization error from here it is being uh, like started then shifting to the right and below is being done and on the basis of this particular error dispersion chart the error needs to be calculated so students in today's lecture you have studied about half tone image what is digital half tone process what is dithering you know that the dithering algorithm is a category of half toning algorithm and the categorization of dithering algorithm three types of dithering algorithms random dithering order dithering and non periodic dithering algorithms thank you students in the next lecture Uh, we will discuss some of the numericals based on dithering techniques so keep watching the next lecture thank you